Hey, what's up, geeks? This is Deron Brown, your instructor from Geek Mode School of React Native. In this video, we're going to tackle the staircase algorithm. Now, I did this algorithm years ago, man. It had to be almost two years ago. And I remember it was around the time when I really started uh, job hunting and, you know, getting used to these exams, these tests. I remember I had the hardest time figuring this out, man. You know, but um, yeah, let's get into it. So basically, whatever number you're given, you want to create a staircase that represents that amount of numbers. So because uh, n, n is equal to 4, we're going to have 4 steps. All right? Right here, n is equal to 6, and we have 6 steps. Simple enough. So what I want you guys to do, I want you to go scroll down and copy this algorithm. And I want you to paste it into your IDE or text editor. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to create 3 variables. That's going to be our string variable we're going to create our new start variable we're going to set this equal to a empty string and then also we're going to create our space fill variable as well and we're going to set this equal to an empty string all right so we're going to go ahead and just loop through um, create a loop that goes through the whatever numbers that we get back. So for let our index equal zero, as long as our index is less than um, our input, we're going to increment our index. And then after we do this, we're going to go ahead and create another loop, and we're going to set create a variable. We'll create a, make j our new index. But we're going to set it equal to i. All right. And j, as long as j is less than our input, minus 1, we're going to increment our j by 1 each within, with each loop. So space fill, we're going to set this equal to space fill. Hey, what's up guys? Deron Brown here. I just wanted to remind you, at the end of this video, make sure you check out the website, www geekmode.tech. They can learn more about React Native, Firebase, and Redux. And also, if you haven't already, make sure you check out our free course as well. I'm sure you enjoy it. Now, that's enough of me, and I'll let you guys get back to the video. Plus our empty string, all right? Now, once we get up our first loop, we're going to go ahead and we're going to update our new start. So basically, each new step. So new start, we're going to set this equal to new start plus pound. All right. A string, we're going to set this equal to space fill plus new start. Okay, so space fill is basically going to take up, it's going to help us create that like stair effect. So as you can see, we have, uh, as it goes up, there's nothing right here. That's because space fill is taking up this area of our uh, staircase. So space fill plus new start, and then space fill, we're going to set this equal to an empty string at the end. All right. And last but not least, we're going to go ahead and just console log. We get back as our string. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, run this in our terminal. Node hacker rank stair. As you can see, this is what we're getting back as a staircase. Exactly what we expect to get back. I'm going to change this to three. We run our code again. And then we do 10. All right, we can see that it's working. All right. So go ahead. And I'm just going to copy what we have here. And I'm going to paste it into Hacker Rank's code area. 
look, we passed all our tests. Well, here's a major test. We passed everything. So, voila, congratulations, whatever. We passed our, we passed the algorithm, and um, yeah. Like I said, this was something I really struggled with when I was beginning, like trying to do job hunts or whatnot. But um, yeah, sometimes these easy problems can be complex. But anyways, that's it, Geeks. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.